Hey guys, welcome back. Fred here, AF Math and Engineering. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're enjoying our content so far. We have a quick video for you. Actually, um, another request from a viewer. But this one, um, you know, I was meaning to do for a little while because we didn't cover it um, in the three moment equation video that we did. We only covered a video uh, in which the ends were rollers. So in this question, actually, we have a second degree indeterminate three moment equation question, which is also good because we can show how to do that. As well, we have a fixed end on the end. And so as you know, from the three moment equation, the way it works is we kind of have to, you know, either know the end moments. So if we take this as the redundant, we need to know what the moments here are, or they need to equal zero, right? Because otherwise we have too many equations and we can't solve. So let's go ahead and see how we can deal with that here. Um, we're asked to calculate the support bending moments at A, B, and C using the three moment equation. The first thing that you'll notice here is that we have a fixed support here. Okay, so if we were to go ahead and take the three moment equation about B, okay, we would have uh, MA, which is unknown here, and MB, which is unknown. C we know, but it would be impossible to solve because we don't have um, enough equations. So what we do need to do here, and this is um, a little bit of a trick, First, um, we can go ahead and count the number of reactions. So we have three, four, five reactions. So uh, it's second degree indeterminate. So what we can do, whenever you have a fixed end, okay, A is still going to be a redundant and B is going to be a redundant. But what you do at A, okay, is you're just gonna go ahead and extend A past A, okay? And at A, we're going to turn that fixed into a roller. That's still gonna be called A. And then we're gonna extend the beam past A to an imaginary point of distance zero, and that is going to become a pin, it's, and that we're gonna call that A prime, okay? So that's the first step, um, and then the rest of the beam looks the same. So we still have that roller at B, and we still have the roller at C, okay? So uh, in between A and B, we have this 45 kip force. Okay, we still have our 1.8 kip per foot distributed load across from B to the end there. What our next step is, is essentially to assign our redundance and we're going to go ahead and plug into our um, three moment equations. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna see what we get. So we can go ahead and start with uh, taking the redundant at A. Remember we need to take two redundants because it's a second degree indeterminate structure. So we're gonna take the ones in the middle here. So let's start at A, okay? So um, let's uh, take a look at the screen for the three moment equation there. Okay, so we're at A. Let's take a look at the left. So the moment at the left, we have a pin uh, at, that's at the end of the beam. So that's going to be equal to zero. Okay, so we have zero plus two. And what's the moment at A? Well, we don't know that yet. That's unknown. There is a moment at A though, so don't make it that zero. Okay, and we have LL over IL plus LR over IR. Remember that I is constant in this case, so it's going to cancel. Um, so we don't need to write that. Zero is the length on the left to the left of A. To the right of A, the length is 20. Okay. And we have uh, MR, which is going to be MB, and that's going to be multiplied by 20. Let's take a look at the right side of the equation. So that's the left side of the equation done. And um, for, as you can see, we have a point load here. Okay. We have negative P, which is 45. KL squared is the entire length here, so that's going to be 20 squared. So, and we have our K value here. Remember, if we're at A, for example, K is the distance from B to the to the point four point load, not from A to the point load. So the far end to the point load divided by the entire distance. So we have 10 divided by 20. So that's gonna be times one half. So divided by I, but I cancels, remember? And then we have one minus K squared. So if we go ahead and we just simplify this. Okay, put this in our calculator. We're going to get that M, we have two MA. Okay, plus MB equals negative 337.5. All right, cool. So that's our first equilibrium equation. So as you'll notice in the second degree indeterminate problem, uh, once we apply the three moment equation, we don't immediately get uh, a direct answer. Okay, we, we get this um, equation, um, this equation in terms of MA and MB. Okay, so the important thing to note here is we're going to need to apply the three moment equation again. Okay, so we're going to need to apply it once for A, and then we're going to need to apply it once for B. And once we apply it for B, then we're going to have two equations, and we can go ahead and we can solve. So let's apply it for B now. Okay, so we're going to apply the three moment equation for B. Okay, let's take a look. So we have our moment to the left. Okay, our moment to the left is going to be MA. And that's going to be times L, which is 20. Okay, we have 2MB. 
Okay, and that's going to be out to the left and to the right. Okay, that's going to be 20 plus 30. Okay, 20 and 30 here. Okay, cool. Let's take a look at that moment to the right. That's going to be C. Okay. And now we can go ahead and take a look at the point load on the left. That's going to be exactly the same term as this. Okay. And we do need to uh, take into account this um, distributed load from B to C here. Okay. And that's just simply going to be, I'm just going to come down and write it below. Okay. We're going to have minus, uh, we're, so we're doing uh, WRLR cubed over 4I. So that's going to simply be 1.8 okay, times L cubed. So L in this case is 30. So we have 30 cubed, and that's going to be divided by 4. Perfect. Now, uh, before we simplify this, uh, I want you to take a look at this term MC. Okay, so MC in this case is known. This is a uh, determinant part of the structure. We, we can determine what MC is, okay, and we're going to need to do that because we only have two equations here, right? So we have two equations, but we have three unknowns, but actually MC is not an unknown. We know what it is. Um, and if you come down here, if we go ahead and cut the beam at MC, okay, we can go ahead and we can resolve this 1.8 kip force. Okay, so we have an 18 kip force there, and that's 5 and 5, okay, and if we go ahead and calculate that out, okay, so we have 18 times 5, this is going to be a 90 uh, kip foot moment there, and if we go ahead and transfer it to C, okay, these need to be equal and opposite, as you can see, the bending moment at point C, this is C, is equal to 90, and actually the sign convention is negative. We know that MC is equal to negative 90. So go ahead and plug negative 90 in for MC, and if we go ahead and reduce this equation, we are going to end up with MA plus 5MB equals negative 810. Don't take my word for it, guys. Go ahead, try and solve that on your own. In the interest of having a shorter video, though, I don't want to go through all the steps there. And, um, okay, so now we have our equation 1 and our equation 2. I'm just going to write equation 1 down here for you. 2MA plus MB equals negative 337.5. And, guys, as you can see here, you have a system of two equations, really super simple stuff. You know, solve for MA, isolate for it, plug it in, solve for MB, and you're done. And you're going to get values of, for MA and MB, negative 97.5, kip feet and negative 142.5 kip feet, okay? Cool, so there you go, that's your answer. Um, you solve for MA, MB, and you have MC, okay? That's exactly what the question asked. We found the bending moments at all of the supports. Um, a, another, you know, follow-up question to this might be that they might ask you to find the reactions and draw the bending moment diagram. So we, done, we did a few things in this question, actually. What did we do? Well, we... Um, we calculated the bending moments at supports A, B, and C, okay, and using the three-moment equation. We, we actually calculated it as a second-degree indeterminate beam. So that's uh, two new things that we covered in this video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I thought this was a cool question for you guys to do. It really covers, like, a couple different things. If you're enjoying our channel, as always, hit that subscribe button. We really do appreciate it. Hit that like button. Take care. See you next time.